Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called Sneeko Starts Fight, Gets Teeth Knocked Out, Then Cries to the Cops. Full footage. Um, first, I don't think he got his teeth knocked out. I think he chipped the tooth, or his tooth was chipped, not knocked out. Um, he started the fight? I didn't see the footage, so we'll see if he really started the fight. Did he put his hands on somebody first? That's what a fight is. You can talk, but you can't put your hands on somebody. Then that's different. Um, also, do they have a problem with Sneeko? Because is it, is it because he's, he's cool? He hangs out with Fresh and Fit? Or like, well, what's the problem? I, I don't understand it. I don't understand why they're, they're like trying to clown him. Sound check, please. Like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all giving some ASMR today. It sounds good. Bro. It's all good. Yeah, I like the way you breathe. Boys being boys. So, today's video. Yeah, because you are in a good shape. Well, you know what happened? I was out dancing. I was having, uh, you know, a good time doing gay shit with girls. <laughs> Speaking of doing gay, uh, G-A-Y stuff with girls, you did admit that you let women play in your butt with their fingers until you reach climax. You did admit that. So. You know how it is. I'm not making this up. There's literally a clip of him saying that. It's, you can find it on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what I've seen. What he said. I'm just repeating that. Salsa dancing, boys. No, that's not. And if you want to find more that footage, you know, I got on my Instagram. You, 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 yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I was doing that gay shit with the girls. <laughs> so I come home, you know what I mean? Had a little bit. Of... Dancing with the girls is not gay. I mean, you're trying to you're trying to be sarcastic, but fingers in the booty, that's gay. Thinking bit. the party's over. A little bit of that soldier. Then someone sent me some of the best footage I ever seen in my life. Okay, and then I realized, man, the party ain't over. It's just getting started. <laughs> Sneeko, Kako, got himself into a little situation with a man, you know? Also, this whole thing about him being a cuck, I mean, he admitted it, and he said he, he felt stupid afterwards because that didn't make him feel too good that he let that happen. So in their world, like, you can't change. I mean, I'm not, I mean, this, this is what it seems like. Like you did something one time, like once, and then you change, like you can't change. Like you did it that time, that's it. You're known as that, which is, you know, that's what the internet is known for. So, I mean, we can say the same thing about him. He, like you want to have the same logic, you want to keep it consistent. You got to make a word for him because he likes his booty played with. So he reaches climax by woman. So. It's only fair. I'm f I, I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm just stating the obvious. Straight shit. Ooh, did he get hit by something? Did something... Well, hold up, hold up. What happened? Oh, he, sla he slapped his hat off his head. That's fair game after that. Holy! But hold on, did he... Did Sneak go through it? Like, who did? <laughs> Perfect shot. Pause. <laughs> Holy! We got Sneeko here. He's got this busted up tooth. Smile for me, man. <laughs> this was the security guard at, F at this thing, at this event, right up here. Right up here. We got yeah. this guy jumped off the stage. No one attacked this guy. Punched Sneeko in the face. Him. No one touched him. Yeah. He jumped off the stage, hit Sneeko in the There's face. I watched the whole happened. thing happen. This was just right now? Just now. Just Happened. The guy that uh, he shut off the speech to go play his music, he just uh, just got rocked in the face. But I'm a non-violent person. 
You know, I care about America first. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man. We'll take it through the legal necessary ways we got to do because. But America is violent. What are you talking about, Nico? What the hell are you talking about? America is probably the most violent country in the world. Probably press charges now. Legal necessary routes. They're going to sue them is what they're saying. World which is Fair. I don't, I mean, yeah. everybody sues everybody in the States. Yeah, but I you, can't, you think you saying something and then you getting attacked is okay? I, I don't know. I couldn't hear and I wasn't there. There's a lot of things missing. Okay. So I don't know. Okay, you ready? Pay attention. What's that? Someone took his cap. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna slow it back for you. What was that hand? That's a man with a hoodie. We got Sneeko here. Who's wearing a hoodie? He's got this busted up tooth smile. No, come on. You can't. You, you act like he's the only one that's wearing a hoodie. There's a lot of people wearing hoodies. Come on, bro. For me, man. Hold on. We got. Let's play it again. Ready? Pay attention. What's that? Someone took his cap. And it looked like the hoodie has some white markings on the side. So. Let's see if, if Sneeko has that white marking or those white markings. Okay, slow it back for you. What was that hand? That's a man with a hoodie. We got Sneeko here. Who's wearing a hoodie? He's got this busted up tooth. Smile for me, man. That's not a real analysis of what just happened right now. Come on. So that's two videos on two that someone's messing with someone else. He smacked cat. his hat off. Did we tell you Bradley Martin last week? You saw this security guy was just going, whatever. I don't care what y'all got to say. You smacked his hat off, and this man Falcon punched you. This man went through two dimensions, multiverse, entered and exited, and punched the shit out of your face. Sent you teeth back in time to when you was a baby and you was buck teeth. It's a general rule. Like for those who think that is really about the hat, it's not about the hat. It's about the hairline. People are gonna think and say. <clears throat> It's very futile that it's a hat. You guys are very comfortable putting your hands on people you don't know. And I think it is like a clash of generation or whatever, whatnot. But you guys are very comfortable. It's not, it's not about the hat. F the hat. Whatever I'm wearing is an extension of me. You guys are comfortable touching people. And that's probably one of the reasons why whenever you see two people having a confrontation and they're face to face, oftentimes they go like this, right? Because this, if I'm bumping you to my chest, it's like a rule. I'm not touching you. But the minute you push me or you put the, you put your hands on someone, don't, 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 don't. Especially in security, security, you flick his hat. I'm not saying that he had the right to do that, oh, yeah. but you guys are very comfortable putting your hands on people. Go ahead. And here's the thing. I don't care about proportionality, not to this degree, because this is within the acceptable bounds. It's not like someone took off his hat and then he started shooting. No, you put your hands on him, so he punched you in your face. You don't want to get punched in your face. Don't put your hands on people. And this is why I laugh at all these goofy guys who always talk about, I want to box, I'm training, all this other stuff. You realize that the best form of self-defense you can have is discernment. It's realizing when to not fuck around so you don't have to find out. It's realizing how to walk away. But these stupid people think because they took a boxing class or they sat in the ring with an MMA dude that they're somehow tough. You're a dumbass. And I'm glad. Because I get to show this kind of evidence to every young person in America and the rest of the world and say... Hey guys, don't do that. You want to know how much of a coward Sneeko is and these rest of these guys are? They talk about masculinity, masculinity, traditionalism, all this other stuff. They put their hands on people, get smacked, which is a coward. Allegedly, you really can't tell from this video that Sneeko touched the guy's hat. You can't tell. It could have been somebody else. You're, you're speculating and you're basically saying, I hope it is. Because you want to see the downfall of Sneeko for whatever reason. I mean, I get it. You guys are probably beefing. I understand. But, like, you got you to gotta be fair. <laughs> you got to be fair. It's not clear who, who slapped the head off. You're, you're assuming right now. Accountability. And then when they're interviewed after the fact, you're like, this guy jumped off the stage. No one attacked this guy. Punched Nobody Sneeko in the face. Him, no one but I'm a nonviolent person. You dumbass, you initiated the physical contact. And then afterwards, you want to pretend like you didn't do nothing. 
This is like the women who get up in people's faces and put their hands on them and get smacked. I know these red pill losers would be out here being like, you deserved it. Yeah, try me. Try me. Uh, yeah, suck me. Try me. Ah, yeah, that's you. That is literally you doing the most bitch made thing I've ever seen. You put your hands on somebody. Now you're talking about you want to sue. Is this masculinity? Take your L and go home. Sleep it off. You guys if if Sneeko touched the guy, I totally understand why he got smacked, fucking punched in the face. I understand that. And he probably deserved it. But if he didn't, and there's like another angle, because there's a lot of phones out there. And there was another angle where it shows that somebody else smacked the, the security guard's uh, head off. Then you should come out and make an, like, you got to make an apology video. You got to apologize. At least. You got to apologize. You guys feel like you have the right to piss off people. But the people you piss off don't have the right to be pissed off. What were they doing just before he did that? What were they doing? They were flipping him the bird. They were screaming at him, right? So what are they doing? When, they, when, he, when he asked to leave. When he asked them to Security leave. tells you to leave. You want to get mouthy. So security gets mouthy with you. Same level. You want to get physical? So who escalated? Well, he did. He did. He touched it. And then this motherfucker had the audacity to get on camera with a bloody nose and say, I'm a nonviolent person. I did nothing. And it's almost insulting to me because they try to teach men how to be men. And every turn when they have a real life situation and shit gets stressful, they act so bitch made it's disgusting. This man, I'll say this about the security guard too. He didn't even hesitate. You disrespected him. You put your hands on him. The dude jumped into a hostile crowd and didn't give up. Look, look at this. Look at this. I just want to see. <laughs> the dude jumped like crazy. That, that, that might be Sneaker. I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's study the, the garments. How tight the hoodie around the, the wrist. How can I be mad at him? Kratos jump like him. Like, it's very... This is the kind of thing that every young boy dreams about when they get disrespected by the teacher. Yeah, 100%. Next time I see that man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he actually hopped off. Now, how can I be mad? Yo, you know what? Let me say this right now. If you're watching the security guard and they actually try to sue you, contact me. I'll take care of your legal fees. I got time. I'm bored. I'm bored. And he is bored. I want to own a memorabilia of this. I want to. This would be funny, but I think Abba should, should get like a second angle video. Like another angle where it's clear as day that Sneeko is the one that put his hands on the, on the guard first. That just would be, this would be a funny ass case. The painting done. I want a fan to make me a painting of this. I'll hang it up on this wall. You know what I want to call it? I'll call it painting accountability. We can, we, oh, I, I think, you know Yay. what? You know what? Yay. You know what? Hold on, hold on. You know what? I, I'm going to turn it to the legal fund for accountability. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I, I like that idea. You guys like that I idea? Think, I think, I think I've been should. drinking, so I might have a second thoughts in the morning, but I like that idea. That was a beautiful punch. Well, that, that's a beautiful moment. I, that was a beautiful punch. It was all instinct, too. It was right there. You didn't have to think about it. It was what? You're not gonna yink. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 2024 is a new year. All you nuisances, all you pranksters, hey man, y'all got about to get your comeuppance. Everybody want to fuck around and find out y'all about to get it. I'm on my cat energy right now. Cat said all you big dick deviants about to get exposed. All you streamers, all you motherfuckers about to catch hands with some random people. And I'm gonna enjoy it. And I'm gonna pay their legal fund. I think that's my goal for this year. You know what? I was going to invest this in a GIC or some kind of like index fund, but fuck it. Life is short. Life is short, bro. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's it's a bit of the soju. He's, it's a bit of the soju. He's on one. But the party's lit right now. The, the, the soju got you talking. The party's lit right now. So. And you know what's so funny? He was rolling with Jake Shields, with some, which is like some MMA guy turned like conservative, like potato brain. And... When this happened, this dude didn't even throw hands. He just let it happen. Why would he throw hands? He didn't even try to defend. Why would he? Why would? I'm just saying, they bitch made. If I see my dude, he just called that like a professional MMA dude a bitch made. Come on, come on, bro. Like, 
get get Kratos. Get 300. And also, calling someone a conservative potato brain or whatever you just said. <clears throat> like, you're acting like, like, first of all, you guys are not even Americans. You guys are Canadians. And you're acting like they can't, they can't be conservatives and they can't say, oh, America first. If they believe, if they believe that America should be first, right? And that America should stop, like, funding genocide. And giving money to other countries, billions and billions and billions of dollars when you have broke people, homeless people, needy people in your backyard. Like why why wouldn't why wouldn't they be upset? That's literally like just logic. It's like I'm feeding somebody else's kids, but my kids are hungry. It doesn't make any sense. But I understand his 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 upset. He doesn't like Sneeko. He doesn't like those people. So I understand. He's trying to make fun of them in every single way possible. I get it. It's, 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 it's um, content. If you get 300 in front of me. No, no, no. If a motherfucker jumps off the second story. Third story. And he's drunk. It's going to get higher because I want to keep making up the story. <laughs> if a motherfucker jump off the Empire State Building. Yes. And Falcon punches you. King Kong. You think it just ends there? I'm throwing hands too. And if you out cold, then I'll, I'll, I'll like to be like, yo, Nikki, you good? <laughs> I can't, hey, if, he, if he knocked you out with one punch, like, I can't take him, you know? No, you can't. You, you definitely But I'll be like, hey, Nikki, you good? And then I'll put like smelling salts and shit. I'm like, come back to us. We need you. I love preach can't die. We got money to make. I love it. And I'm going to celebrate this. And anybody who says, oh, I, but you guys hate women. Do you guys see how we talk about dudes getting punched the fuck out? I keep the same energy, my people. Oh, the energy is the same. same. If you want to mess around, I will celebrate the fact that you get smacked, man or woman. Yeah. Y'all need to stop playing with people. Y'all need to keep your. Fair is fair. Keep your hands to yourselves. You don't want to get punched back in the face. You don't want to get slapped. Keep your hands to yourselves, man or woman. That's 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 fair. That's standard. Fucking hands to yourselves, yeah. and you need to learn some goddamn manners when you're addressing people in public. I'm outside all the time. I'm at public or in private. Where if people want to jump me, it would be very easy because I'm alone and I'm just out here doing things because I enjoy it. But you know what? When I'm in public, I'm incredibly respectful. I'm on my business and I just go and enjoy myself. And if someone tells me to leave, I walk away. I don't flip the bird. I ain't never touched someone's hat. I ain't never thought about touching nobody's head. And guess what? I make it home every day and I get to stay up here with a clean, clear face. Tej Henley. Huh? And I get to laugh at Sneeko getting cut the fuck out. It's a beautiful it's thing. Cra it's crazy. I never have to worry about these problems. Because you know what I got? The number one. It's funny. He keeps calling him. I, I, I address this thing again. Sneeko admitted to being a cuck at one time. Once. Once. Once in his lifetime or something. And he regrets it. And he said, I will never do that again. He felt horrible. Okay. You, on the other hand, did the same thing. Admit it on camera that you let women play in your booty to the climax, or you, as you said, sort of like one of the best things to like. It's a crazy climax or whatever. But you haven't said that you regretted it or you stopped doing it. So this is this is <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. I don't know. It's like pot calling the kettle black. I don't know. One self defense tool. What's that? What? You guys, you guys are the uh, walking away. Discernment. Walking away. A little bit of judgment. Oh, this looks like a situation that could escalate. Let me not put my hands on anybody and let me go the fuck. That's my mistake. You know what? You're I don't know. They're just repeating themselves over and over. But yeah, this, this. I mean, I understand. They don't like Sneeko. They don't like that. The those people over there, the red, the red pill community. Even though I don't think Sneeko is a red pill guy he was but he's not anymore but he does hang around with those people um i don't know why they don't like him it's either because of that or because his stance against america first which i don't understand because if they don't like that they're canadians and they shouldn't care but anyways make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and uh make sure you guys watch the video the whole thing and uh, I'll see you guys again in the next video.